Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? All ready for classes? Yes? Yes. Great. Reactions. Let's see. Are you ready? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. All right. Nice. Right on the chat, right on the chat. Good evening, my name is. Hello, my name is. Hi everybody, my name is. Right on the chat, please. On the chat, now on the chat. Hello everybody, my name is Blanca. Good evening, my name is David, very good. Uh -huh. Nice, very good. Good evening, my name is Ricardo, excellent. Good evening, my name is Karen, my name is Gracia. Good evening, my name is Miguel, excellent. Good evening, my name is Wendy, nice. Hi, my name is Deborah, excellent. Uh-huh, more, Teacher, more, more. a long time no see. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. You look you... familiar. <laughs> I like a like a meme of Superman. <laughs> True. I know. Hi, how are you? How I'm has fine. it been? <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. Uh -huh. How did it go? Everything all right? Yeah, everything all right. Nice. I'm glad no to problems. hear that. This is the last module before Christmas. Yep. Yeah. So, it is a pleasure to meet you all. Okay. Welcome to classes. We're going to try our very, very best to get the max of this two hours. We're going to try to practice as much as possible. We're going to try to get the best result of the investment of this time, all right? It's a pleasure for me to meet everyone. It's a pleasure for me to see familiar faces as well. <laughs> okay. To meet you again. All right, I think everybody introduced on the chat. Nice, right? Okay, great. Awesome. Well, this is our first session and I hope you're all doing great. You're all doing fine. So we're gonna have a couple of minutes. Let me just share a screen. So, yeah, that's right. For the ones that don't have any idea of who I am. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is sort of my presentation. This is November the 13th today. Oh, wow. Almost finishing the year. All right. So this is our session number one. And I hope you're all doing great. Yeah. I might show a little bit of my curriculum, my experience, my degrees, right? I got experience, many different programs, many different levels, many different places. So this is what I do for a living. <laughs> this is what I have done for my whole life. Practically now, I've been teaching for so many years. I got the bachelor degree and uh, an exchange program in this uh, from the embassy. So I've been teaching 
for the last 12 years now at the program empresarial supera the uh, different levels different preparation different projects so now i do this online classes at night for the english and el trabajo program right and english corporative so this is part of my curriculum so i want to welcome everybody and to have some refresh of our memories regarding the necessary evaluations right that you're going to have according to the philosophy of this program yeah it is really important that you complete all the tasks all the assignments on the platform so you have to complete them uh, satisfactory so that you can approve this module which is module three of the basic level right so uh, all of the um let's say material and topics will be covered on these online sessions but then if you have still doubts and hesitations with some of the structures you can double check the video and then uh Greg Wilmer can you hear me but you still have problems with your audio I'm sorry to hear that try to disconnect and connect the, the earphones again or try to check the settings of your device with the audio all right so it is very important i was mentioning to complete the assignments on the platform okay and of course try to make sure that you finish every unit by the end of the week so on friday before midnight <laughs> <laughs> like Cinderella, everybody has to have completed the unit. So this week we have to complete the unit one. Next week, unit two, next week, unit three, and so on and so on. Right. So we have a midterm exam after two units. So after the second unit, after the second week, you have to complete the midterm exam as well. And at the end of the of the course by the end of the fourth week or the fourth unit, you also have to complete the final test, right? Any questions so far? Alguna pregunta? Questions? No? We can make exceptions if you need to, to speak. Yes, no questions? Everything okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. Okay, nice. Well, now that I introduce myself, that I talk about me, okay, my experience, what I do, what I enjoy doing what I like doing, well, mostly teaching my job experience. Okay, I think it's time to get the attendance. Oh my God. Let me check the attendance. All right. Attendance. This is module three we got. Okay, we got two times for the attendance, so... We're going to get started. Ready? Say present. Say present or say, I'm glad to be here. It's nice to be here. I'm happy to be here. Or something you want to add to the word present so that you can start practicing English already. Yes? Agree? Nice. Awesome. Let's go. All right, we're going to get started with Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina Diaz Castro. Present teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Very well. Yes? Yes. 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 Nice. Thank you. All right, next person, Brian Ulises. Here. Doing well. Yes? Yep. 
All right. Nice. Next person. David Miguel Angel. Hi, teacher. Present. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks, and you? I'm doing great as well. I'm happy okay. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Deborah Beatriz. Present. Hello, how are you? Fine. And yeah. yourself? I'm doing great as well. Thanks for asking. Would it be okay if you add a photo to your profile, Deborah? And this moment, the camera, it's my phone of my computer. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, what an issue. All right. <laughs> so let's try to fix it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Doris Elizabeth Jurado. Doris Elizabeth Jurado? Not here. Okay. Elvin Gabriel Velasquez. Present, Miss. Hey, how are you? Doing great? Yes. Just fine? Good. Welcome. Good. Gracias, Marisol Cortez. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. All right. Hector Manuel Ramirez. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Hi, bye. Thanks. And you, teacher? I'm doing great as well. Thank you. Good. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Imelda Xiomara Pineda. Not here. Okay, Ivan Arnoldo Mejia. Not here. All right, Joanna de la Paz Gomez. Hi, teacher, present. Hey, welcome. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank Come you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Jocelyn Karina Celaya. Jocelyn, hello. I see your name. Well, apparently not available. Okay, next person. I'm here, I'm here. Hi, Hi. it's okay. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Karen Melissa Alvarado. Hi, present. Hi, welcome. Thanks. Okay, very good. Then we got Kevin Edgardo Duran. Mr. Kevin Duran. Not today. Laura Berenice Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. All right. Then we get Maria Irma Guerrero. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Miguel Angel Ramirez. Hey, present, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, you? Doing great, just fine, very good. Nice to see you. Nice, nice. to hear you as well. <laughs> All right. Nelson Alberto Perez. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Fine, you? Doing great, just fine as well. Excellent. Nice, welcome. Full of energy, full of battery. Mm, yeah. All right. Maybe, Maybe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just today. <laughs> That's all yeah. right. All nice right. to meet you, teacher. Likewise. Paula Natalia Membreño. Paula? 
Now, Ricardo Mauricio Peña. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, how are you? How are you? Fine, fine. And Doing you? Great. Yes, very well. Thank you. Okay, you okay. look familiar too. Uh. <laughs> 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 when did we finish that course? Like two months ago or three? Uh, three. Mm -hmm. Around three, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, welcome. Welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wendy Geraldina Gutierrez. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Fine. Okay. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Hey, Wilber Alexander Perez. Present teacher. Hey, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you again. <laughs> so you were in basic one, right? Yes. How was basic two, the level two? Good? All good. Nice. All good. All good. I enjoy that. Okay. Ready, get ready, ready, ready to practice, okay? When you come back home every day after work, try to set everything, you know, the space for your class. The Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Hey, Doris, nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doris, Elizabeth, right? Okay, anybody else that I didn't mention? Or somebody that just connected after me, after I mentioned your name, probably? Natalia? You say present, Natalia? Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Si la mencioné o no la mencioné, Natalia. Did I mention your name? Hello. Hi. Did I mention your name? Eh, tenía problemas con eh, los auriculares. Ok, no problem. Pero sí mencioné su nombre. Eh, no lo escuché. Ok. What's your full name? Complete? Eh, uh, my name is Natalia Membreño. Natalia Membreño, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, apparently. Okay. I'm going to write your name. Okay. okay, great. Thank you. All right. Okay, good. Well, I hope you are all fine, you're all great, you're all ready because that's really important to have the manual, okay? To have the access to everything that we need, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna just get started in just a couple of minutes because it's time to get started, all right? So give me just one second, just need to write something real quick here. And all right, here we go. Okay, and then we're gonna show, we're gonna continue showing the presentation and the other requirements for the class, okay? So it is very important as I was mentioning, okay, to have the space, the time, the resources ready for the class. The time, definitely eight o'clock, right? The space, usually use a wall, something solid behind you so that you don't have problems because you say, oh no, I'm ashamed because of the camera, I don't want. If you only have this background, normal, no problem, okay? And your resources, your computer, your device, internet, earphones, okay? Which is very important because that way you are more focused. You are concentrated because you listen clear, okay? And your manual, your notebook, okay? 
It's also very important because you can be uh, following the exercises on the manual. You can be completing the exercises and you don't lose track of the unit, of the content, and you can participate more and definitely develop the English skills more. That's nice, all right? So as I was saying, we're gonna continue with the presentation that I was just showing at the beginning. Okay, this is something uh, that you have to keep in mind. If you have any question, you can raise your hand. Easy, raise your hand, either the you know, physical hand or the little electronic hand that you have on Zoom, <laughs> the digital hand, right? You can raise your hand and if you have a question, at any time you have a question, you can raise your hand. So it's very important to be connected with your full name on the platform, on this, on Zoom platform, okay? So it's very important, okay, to have your camera because that way you are focused, you are concentrated, you're listening, you are practicing. And even if, you know, sometimes we say, I don't understand. But if you don't understand now, and you don't pay attention, you don't continue listening, it's going to be hard for you to understand someday. But if you insist on listening, 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 maybe right now you don't understand much, but then you're going to be understanding a little, a little more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then it's going to be growing the comprehension. Then your comprehension is going to be more and more and more. So that's why we ask you to be focused. And when you are with the camera on, you are focused, okay? So try to be in a specific place only for studying, okay? And participate, participate as much as you can, okay? Say, yeah, me, 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 I wanna be a volunteer, I want to participate, okay? So that's nice. And then the attendance, which is real, real important for this program because they count the minutes every day, every session. After your participation, they count. And Insecure is very strict on this. They count the minutes, if you were present, if you really participated, if you say present when you listen to your names. So that's why it is important. Ah, if you stay the 120 minutes in class, because it's 120 minutes, it's two hours, okay? So we gotta take the attendance twice, okay? So the attendance is only valid when we listen to the participants saying present, 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 okay? We're gonna have sessions one-on-one -on -one at the end of the class so that you can ask questions, you can clarify, you can practice some vocabulary as well, right? Or you can ask for doubt, right? So this is also important to have the mute, button okay to have the camera to use the chat to participate in the breakout rooms participation is essential because when we make a small groups for the breakout rooms it's not break to go sleep okay it's breakout rooms okay it's only that we make the group a smaller a smaller groups right so that's also important okay so these are the days for the session session one two three and four and we finished December 8th right before you start celebrating all these holidays for the <laughs> for Christmas we finish so you're going to be relaxed and you can go shopping you can go party you can go to the celebrations from work you can go and have dinner because after December 8th you're going to be free yes Okay, we're going to go to the first objective for this session. Develop competences that would allow them to express orally in the written and in written forms, elements of the identity of the company they work for, socialize in business and work settings, discuss communications and etiquette and standards of work, and make business travel plans. So practically, it's a lot of objectives for the session one. Well, we're going to be breaking them up. So we're going to be, you know, like getting one by one the objectives so that we can develop them in class. This is what your manual looks like. Okay. 
right on the chat. Escriben en el chat. Si ya tienen el manual, I have the manual. Or I don't have the manual. I downloaded the manual. I printed the manual. Vamos a ver cómo va la situation con su manual de, de este curso, del module 2. Uh -huh. Escriban en el chat. Let me see. Lo voy a leer. I'm going to read your comments now. Mm -hmm. No comments yet. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you. Let me read you. I don't have the manual. Got it. Okay. I don't have the material. I don't have the manual. All right. Download. Yes, download it. Okay, great. Someone else? Download it. Mm -hmm. Just, no problem. Just be honest. Just I just want to see the status, okay? I don't have the manual yet. I don't have the manual, but it will download it in a moment. That's the attitude. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I don't have a teacher tomorrow. I will, I'm going to go to print it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good. Reactions to that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Someone else, someone else. Mm -hmm. Be honest, be honest. All right. But at this point, everybody's familiar what the manual is, right? Where you can find the manual. I'm going to stop sharing in case you have forgotten where the manual is. I'm going to show you. All right, here it is. Let me, let me just share the screen. In case you haven't been able to find the manual, it's here. Yes, you see, Curso Progreso, but actually this platform is so easy to use. It's so friendly, user-friendly, because you can see all this practically in Spanish. It's just this part in English. Okay. So you can find it here, and then there you have it. You can use it from here, but I recommend you to download it because it's easier. So you can take notes, you can write down, you can highlight, you can circle, you can underline. So you can do many things if you have this on paper. But if you can also uh, edit on PDF, it's also doable, it's also possible. But once you have it, okay? Because otherwise you won't be able to do anything right here. All right, so it's a good idea for you to get it. All right, nice. All right, so going back, going back to the topic. Let me just go back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was right here. Mm -hmm. So this is module three, National English for Work Program. All right, give me one second, please. Just need to get something right away. Okay. Sorry, give me a second. All right. 
All right, because, okay, Brian already shared the PDF. Nice, thanks, Brian. It's very kind of you. Yes, great. Here also you can have access. Nice, it's great. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me just share a video of the institution, which is mandatory to do on the first session. So, one second, please. Here we go. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente, ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro, es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo, trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. All right. After checking this institutional video, which is mandatory to do it on the first session, yeah, we're going to continue with the class. Let me just share. Definitely, we were right here. Okay, now it's the time for you to participate. Okay, here there are some basic introductory phrases, but of course, you can add others if you need to. Okay, 
just the common introductory phrases like my name is, my last name is, I work at, my work position is, I am 25 years old, I need to speak English because. But if you want to do, I mean, to do other important information, you can say, it. like, okay, I work from Monday to Friday, I finish work at 5 p.m., I don't know, whatever else you want to include in the introductory phrases, it's fine, okay? So the idea is that you get to know and that you introduce yourself, practice a little bit of your expectations for studying English and English para el trabajo at this time, okay? It's also nice that you interact with your partners. If you see that a partner doesn't give much information, you can also ask other questions like, where are you from? What do you do? What's your job position? What do you like the most about your work? Okay, so you can add extra information questions, right? So I'm going to make the proofs so that you can introduce to your partners. I'm going to share these introductory phrases as well here on the chat in case you need to check them, all right? Let me see. Okay, we're gonna make a smaller groups. Yes. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go. Hi, hi, Bernard. Hello, hola. Hello, Ricardo. Hello. Vaya, vamos a decir el nombre, el apellido, en qué trabajamos, parece. No, no, ¿dónde trabajamos? ¿Cuál es la, la, el puesto, digamos? Eh, la edad y por qué queremos aprender inglés, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir el puesto. Sí. Ah, sí, my work position. Sí. Mm, bueno, empiezo yo. My name is Ricardo Peña. My last name. My name is Ricardo, perdón. My last, <laughs> my, my last name is Peña. And I work at AKQRL. En la otra parte, no recuerdo cómo era lo de. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, my work position is my work position is treasure. I am 33 years old and I um, uh, I want to learn mm -hmm. English because I want to have best opportunity best employees and best salary <laughs> <laughs> money 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Este, en mi casa sería my name is Joanna. My last name. Okay. Uh, start. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Deborah, and my last name is Velasquez. I'm 20 years old. Also, I work at bank with and. Uh, I speak English because well, I need to learn to speak English because it's my uh, hobby and that's all. Okay. 
Okay. Hello, my name is Wendy. My last, last name is Gutierrez. I work at Grupo de Inversiones Alimenticias. I am supervisor accounting. And I study English also. And only. Next, Hector. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coincidimos, coincidimos. Uh, my name is Hector Lasnaim Ramirez. Uh, I live in Conchagua City. My job in Akaku de RL with um, I on weekend I do to to go my job and that's it and sometimes I go to the supermarket. Mm, thanks. Okay. And you, Elvin, what uh, are you doing on weekends? Uh, Hi. Hi, teacher. You're done. I have a problem with the microphone. Really? Yeah, but I'm talking the chat. All right. Chat. Yeah, and Perfect. by coincidence, only the two of you joined this, this break already. Because the other groups uh, are cool, no. like four or five I'm people. Really, I don't have idea, right? Uh huh. But it's uh before after no after the hunter verdad. No, the other way around. Everybody gets no, confused yeah, with that. Before before, before that you can you join uh our Natalia, but okay. Natalia get out. Oh really? So she might be having some issues. Uh I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll place you right now. I'll place really making dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna place you in another room so that you could introduce yourself. Yeah, I remember uh we talked with her at the uh the last season. <laughs> you know I have forgotten. <laughs> no. Not yet. No, because when when she cooked, me too. Oh, so you have been together. Oh, Natalia is an assigned. She is alone now. Mm. Well, it is a good point, but but it's not the case. <laughs> All right, don't, don't worry then. So you'll be the first one on the on the general room. Yeah.
Okay, everyone's back. Everyone returns. No, I see a couple of people are still in the breakout rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, yes, because of the time, time's over. Okay. As I was saying, you have to have your goals. Hey, mm, Imelda, let me see, let me see, Imelda. Wait a second. We, 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 I think I mentioned you, but I don't remember if I listened to you on the microphone. Can you say something to check, to double check your microphone? Sí, yo creo que sí la escuché, Imelda. Mm. Wilmer say he has problems with the audio as well. Okay, well, as we were mentioning, when you were introducing yourself and you were talking about why or the reasons why you need to speak English, now I need you to write, I need to speak English because on the chat and give at least three reasons. I heard somebody very creative that said, I need to speak English because I need better job. I need a better salary. I need to make more money. <laughs> Guess who, who said that? <laughs> okay, so now the reasons why you need to speak English, please, on the chat. I'm going to read your reasons. I'm going to read your comments, okay? Let me see. No, Imelda, no la escucho. Sorry. Vale. En el chat van a explicar las razones por las que you need to speak English. Okay? At least three. I need to speak English because... Huh? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to express on the chat, for you to explain, for you to write your reasons. Okay, very good, Gracia. I need to speak English because I want to get a better job. I want to travel and I want more opportunities in my career. Excellent. Nice. I see Christina says, because I want to travel to be able to communicate with other people. Okay, I need to speak English because I want to travel. I want to be able to communicate with other people. Nice. Mm -hmm. More comments. I need to see more comments. Uh-huh. Nice, Ryan. He says, I need to speak English for a better job. <laughs> to win more money, to make more money, to travel around the world. Deborah, I need to speak English because I want a better job. I want to travel and I want to get money. Of course, we all want to travel. We all want to get more money. That's good. That's good. Because I'm poor and I need to work in the USA <laughs> to have a lot of money. You are very creative, Brian. So creative. That deserves laughing. Okay. All right. Nice. Uh huh. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? more comments there are more people in the session so there should be more comments 
Uh -huh. All right, there you go. I need to speak English because <laughs> to have a better job opportunity to be able to understand other people who are speaking English. Nice. Awesome. Excellent. To travel the world. To go around the world, to travel around the world, okay? <laughs> to go to different countries where English... Yeah, actually, even if you go to a country where English is not spoken, English is usually the traveling language, the business language, right? So I need to... Oh, Wendy says, I need to speak English because I need to... Oh, I want to travel and I want to get a better job. Miguel says, my reasons for speaking English, I want more opportunities in my job. I want to communicate with other people and I want to stay better. I need to speak English, Ricardo, to have a better opportunities in my areas. I want a, best, a better salary and also because I can understand more people when I'm traveling around the world. Imelda, I need to speak English to have a better job opportunity and to be able and to be able to, sorry, to understand other people who speak English. That's right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Excellent, very good. I haven't given you a reaction. Actually, if you like somebody's comment, you can also give it a nice reaction. Okay. Thumbs up. Jocelyn, I need to speak English because I want to lose fear to speak. I want to teach my kids and I want to get a better job. Oh, wow, that's super nice. Because in the prime is the primary language for many countries. Yes. Even if it is not the official language, it's also the travel, the traveling language. It is also the second language for many countries, right? That's great. Got it. For me, it's important to speak English because I need more money. And I like it. <laughs> it's more important for everyone. <laughs> yes, it's true. If you watch movies in English and if you watch the same movie in the translation, it's not the same fun. I need to speak English because I will have more possibilities to improve. I will communicate in other countries and I like the language Nelson that's awesome right good 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 okay I'm going to uh, stop I'm going to stop sharing the screen and I'm going to be saying uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna say one name and this person is going to introduce him or herself, and you're going to say whatever you want to say. Nice to meet you. I'm very happy to be here. I hope we get along very well. I hope we can work very well. I hope you can learn a lot of English. I hope you can help me with English grammar, whatever. But introduce, okay? Dave, <laughs> I don't have, <laughs> I don't have teacher, sorry. Why you don't have? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, not the manual, I think it's a message. All right, so introduce yourself, say your name, say how you like to be called. For example, you can say, I'm going to stop sharing. La pantalla estará totalmente así. Usted se va a presentar. Va a decir como le gusta que le llamen. Va a decir cualquier frase como que espero que nos llevemos bien. O espero que todos aprendamos mucho. Eh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah? Ready? Váyanse preparando. Yo solo voy a decir el primer nombre. Esta persona va a seguir eligiendo al otro y este otro elige al otro y así continuamente. Hasta que todos hayan pasado. Así que you have to be ready. All right. My name is Blanca Portillo. Please call me Blanca. It's very nice to be here and I hope everybody participates every class. It's nice to meet you. Next. Nelson.
Hi, good evening. My name is Nelson. I, I like to stay here with, with us. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Me agarró mal. <laughs> No prepare. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no prepare. Okay. Um, sorry. Continue. Just say, I'm happy to be here and I hope we can learn a lot. I wish you the best. <laughs> Good oh. luck. <laughs> and nice to meet you. Uh, hey, nice to meet you too. Yeah. All right. Now you choose I the will next be... person. I will practice uh, Next more. person. <laughs> yes. Uh, next person, uh, Brian. Brian. Only me. Yes, bro. Well, uh, I'm Brian. Hey, you can save me. Well, that's a matter, no, no problem. Uh, um, I, I wish learned, uh, all things about of you uh, and your in our group and good night. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. You have to close with nice to meet you and say the next person. Nice to meet you. And I choose Laura. Hola. Um, my name is Laura. Um, I would like to learn my many things. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> the next person. Hola. The next person. You have to choose the next person. Um, Laura. <laughs> the next person to participate. Hola. Next no les... person. La siguiente persona para participar. Hola. Hi. No, no me funciona muy bien ahorita. Okay. Elija a alguien más. Or volunteers. Hola, hola. Can you listen? All right. Elvin, Elvin, yes. Elvin wants to participate. Thank you, Laura. Hello. Hi. My name is Elvin. It's a pleasure to be sharing this time with all, all of you. Nice. Nice to yeah. meet you. And the next nice person, Alvin? Brian. Brian participated. Next, another. Another person who didn't participate. Hector. <laughs> Okay, teacher. <sighs> okay. Um, hello, good evening. My name is Hector Manuel Ramirez. I like to be called Hector or Manuel. And I hope that in, his, in this course, we will uh, get along well and we can perform um, our um archive algo positivo como se dice positive something positive uh, positive uh, some type positive with english okay nice thank you choose somebody um, else wendy wendy <laughs> okay Good evening, my name is Wendy. I hope we all achieve, achieve the goal and that we support each other. 
Nice. ¿Cómo es? Nice. Nice. And the next person is Doris. Doris. Hi, good evening. Nice to meet you. Otra vez. Again. <laughs> um, ¿Qué más tengo que decir? Cualquier frase que usted le quiera decir a sus compañeros. Mm. I'm eh... happy to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for choosing me. Yes. All right. Yeah. And the next person? Um, no, we can. ¿Quién falta? Karen Miguel, gracias. Gracias. All right. Hi. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Gracia, and you can say me Gracia. I hope we can learn a lot, and nice to meet you. Yeah. I choose uh, Imelda. Imelda? Creo que Imelda tiene problemas. No sé, ah, Joana. Microphone. Uh -huh. Joana? Hello, my name is Joana Gomez. I like to be called Joana. I am 28 years old. I hope the class is dynamic. Nice. Next person? Uh, Ricardo. 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 Hi, everybody. Hi. My name is Ricardo. I like to be called. I would like to be called Ricardo or Richard. <laughs> I like to listen to music. I like to go to the beach. And I hope to learn a lot from this new model and all partners. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Next person. Uh, permítame, voy a ver quién me falta. Eh, Elvin Velázquez. He participated. ¿Ya participó? Yes. Oh, perdón. No problem. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Hello. Uh, my name is Miguel Ángel Ramírez. Uh, can you say me? Miguel, mm -hmm. um, I hope we learn more. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, um, next person. David. David. David Escobar. David, David, no here. Somebody else? Alguien que no haya participado que quiera subir a David? Hi. 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 Hello. Goodbye. My name is Karen Alvarado. And you can say Karen because I like it. <laughs> And I hope we all learn English. Nice. Very good, Karen. And next person, I don't know. Uh, Anna? Anna. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. And my name is Anna Cristina. I... And I like to be called Christy. Mm -hmm. I hope we all learn English. Nice to meet you. The next person is Irma. Irma. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Irma Guerrero. I like to talk Irma. Uh, I like to... Um, 
listen to music, watching TV. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. The next person? Uh, Jocelyn? Jocelyn. Hi, my Hi. name is Jocelyn Celaya, and I like to be called Josie. And right now, I'm a little excited to be learning again English, and I hope everybody can improve their English in this matter. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice, very good. Alguien que aún no haya participado, somebody who hasn't participated yet. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, Debra, thank you. Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. And this is my first day in class <laughs> because I'm so nervous and excited. And also, I I hope to learn to English and improve to my my skills uh, not to mention uh, I am a a person shy a shy person. <laughs> a shy person and that's all thank you now you're taking the advantage of speaking that's great don't be shy participate everybody <laughs> okay nice thank you Somebody who hasn't participated or everybody participated? Do you participate? Thumbs up. If you participated, thumbs up. Yes. Nice. Todos los que participaron. Nice. Hector. Yes. LB, Karen, Wendy, Ana, Miguel, Ricardo. Okay, Hector, Jocelyn, Debra, Ana, Cristina, Cristi. Okay, gracias, David, Maria, Wilmer, Brian, just all right, nice. Okay, let's see. I can put your hands down. All right. Laura is explaining on the chat that she has some problems with her Zoom. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, let's keep going. Well, as I mentioned in the previous... Uh -huh, I mentioned here that we're going to be describing actually the values, the mission and vision of your company. So <laughs> discuss these questions. Do you know the mission and vision and values of your company? Yes, the mission of my company is or my company's values are, right? The vision of the company I work for is, can you mention the values of your company? So these are some of the questions that we're going to be discussing right now. And to do that, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I know, probably, no es que nos sepamos así de, de apa, like by heart, by memory the mission and the vision, but at least we have an idea. Or you can Google <laughs> the mission and vision of your company, the values of your company. Voy a dar un par de minutos para que hagan su research si no es que se la tienen aquí, ¿ver? ¿ya? Los que la tienen, pues, Google, que le den un sueldo, un raise, <laughs> un aumento salarial. Pero los que no, do your work, porque después, aparte de que ya la tengan, you have to make a big effort to put that in English words. Tienen que hacer un esfuerzo para poner esa mission y esa vision in, in English. Como hacer una mm, interpretation, right? 
tal vez no va a quedar así como que la oficial, pero at least the idea. Vaya, think. Think about it. ¿Ya la tienen? ¿Got it? No yet. Running. Three minutes. Okay, Ricardo, don't worry. The idea is that you have at least the main or the most important points in English. Yo sé que a veces las misiones o las visiones de las empresas son súper grandes porque pues está en español y nosotros le damos con mucha vuelta. Recuérdense que el español es un idioma, una lengua romance, entonces uno nos pone un montón de adornos. But in English, the idea is to be more specific, okay? The main idea, okay? No es que va a traducir todo. Okay, gracias. Says, Access's mission is to create fundamental and lasting positive economic change in the lives of rural or smallholders farming families. Oh, really? ¿A qué acceso, gracias? Es una, una organization. Es una empresa privada. Really? ¿Y a qué se dedican? Eh... Brindamos asistencia técnica y comercialización en cadenas un poco más formales, como es super selectos y restaurantes. I remember you now. <laughs> <laughs> When you mentioned I'm farming. <laughs> <laughs> es que ahorita nadie tiene foro. I just remember Brian and Ricardo. Yo me quedé así como cuando, nice to meet you. <laughs> ¿Qué? ¿Qué? <laughs> Yes, it's true. You changed job when you were in the group. It's true. Mm -hmm. Nice. Karen says, the mission of my work is to provide good service to patients. So what's your company, Karen? I work at a clinic. In a clinic? Yes. It's a private clinic? Uh, plastic? Surgery? Cirugía plástica. Cosmetic. In English, it's cosmetic surgery. Ah, cosmetic okay. surgery. So you work, you work for a private cosmetic surgery clinic. Ah, okay. okay. Here in San Salvador. Yes, in San Salvador. All right. In La Colonia Med. No, Miramonte. Oh, really? Yes. Nice, I need it. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Business. Call me, call me, call me. You have my contact. <laughs> Are you a doctor? Uh, no. Uh, my work is marketing manager. Oh, really? You are the marketing manager? Yes. Nice. So you need me, ah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm your customer. <laughs> okay. Yes. What's the most common cosmetic surgery in El Salvador? Uh, sorry? The most common cosmetic surgery in El Salvador. I don't know. How do you say co Cosmo in Spanish? How do you say? Co Cosmo? I don't know. Repeat. Cosmo. Uh -huh. And what is Cosmo? And repeat question, please. Ah, uh, What's the most popular cosmetic surgery in our um, country? I don't know. It's difficult because it's my computation. <laughs> 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 and I don't know, say <laughs> no, pero ¿qué tipo de cirugía cosmética es la más popular? Ah, uh, eh, la que la gente más busca abdominoplastia. Ajá, uh -huh, I suppose. Es que esto de la grasa yes. abdominal, esto no es así por así. <risa> sí, <risa> es muy difícil. <risa> so ya no, ya no hacen liposucción, like liposuctions. Sí, pero eso depende de la persona. <risa> pero ya se quedó con un poco de pasado, ¿no? No, no, sí se puede realizar, pero va a depender de la, la necesidad condición. que la per... correcto, de la necesidad de, del paciente en este mm. caso. Eh, ¿Y esta abdominoplastia es easier, more difficult, more complicated, or what? More difficult. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. ¿Y la recuperación? ¿Cuánto time? How many months? Yes. Uh, one month. One month. Yeah. Está fácil en December, yo. <laughs> mm, es que eso es variado oh, para cada persona, pero podríamos decir que más o menos oh, un really? tiempo estimado, eh, un mes. Really. Y ya el paciente podría caminar con calma. <laughs> oh, really. Yes. But it's painful. Va a ser doloroso. Yes. <laughs> really. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, en sí. pero, si pero si les interesa con mucho gusto pueden the, escribirme. En the prices esta es la última question para dejar el tema. Ah, ok. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Three thousand. <laughs> no. Five thousand. No. Ten thousand. Uh, es variado, un rango entre 6 y 10. Yes. Va a depender, de igual manera, depende de la necesidad de, de, de la persona, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, es, sí, sí, es bien variado, de, va a depender de cómo, las cómo se encuentre, las condiciones, correcto. Mm -hmm. Yes, I imagine, es salud. Definitely. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Very, very interesting information. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my mission is to provide good service to patients. All right. Doris, to be leading company in service transportation of cargo at level international standards to ensure the excellent safety and profitability to our customers. We are not your only option but if you if the best wow interesting doris yes <laughs> what's your company uh, logistics oh really and where is it located yes Donde están ubicados? um in uh, colonia buenos aires San Salvador? Sí, San Salvador. All right. So definitely. Excellent safety and profitability to our customer. We are not the only option, but we are the best. And the mission is to be a company that complies, that complies with the expectations of global logistics through optional levels of competitiveness in all area service we offer. Esto ya lo tienen en inglés, ¿verdad, Doris? Eh, no, no lo manejamos en español. Y... Really? Pero sí, ustedes traen, mueven cosas a nivel internacional, no solo acá. Sí, sí, Ajá. sí. Uh -huh. Toca eh, enviar varios correos así 
a gente de todos los países. Really? Oh, wow. So you move logistic overseas. Nice. Joanna, <laughs> the mission is to be the most successful co cooperative that improve the standards of living on its members and the mission is to innovate financial service. The values are so guarded in equality or equity, I think. What's your company, Joanna? It's true. That's why you want to improve the standards of living. All right, nice. So financial <laughs> services, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Miguel Angel, wealth build. Wealth build. Ah, it's true. Manage and design infrastructure for human progress as well being with passion, service, and quality. And the vision and the vision multinational corporate with the best world class practices. All right, nice. Miguel, Miguel Angel, remind me of your company, please. Constructora Meco. Ah, nice. Is it located in San Salvador? It's in Colonia Escalón. Oh, really? Interesting. All right. Then we have a Kaku again with Ricardo. Okay. We're a successful corporate that improves the standards of living of its members, offering them quality financial services. Nice. And the vision to be the corporate with the greatest membership coverage and leadership in the national level in the video financial services and quality benefits using advanced technology competence, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial personal with attitude of change. Oh, wow. I'm not going to ask Ricardo because I already got the, his colleague explaining. <laughs> Debra says the mission of my work is develop relationship and offer products and services to our community to help them overcome their limits. Economics, personal, and geographical. Deborah, what's your company? Banco Pro America. Mm, they were calling me one of these days. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, oh, I cannot attend the phone call because I was really busy. Uh, when we finished the school year, you have no idea how busy I am at the foundation. Natalia, we are a company that provides aesthetical and health-related service. Natalia, explain this, please. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, what company? Uh, um, see, on um, the clinic, um, service the um, Are you colleagues? Um, um, surgical, plastic, uh, cosmetic, um, surgery, the um, static. Ustedes son colegas, um, entonces. Sí, con Karen. Ah, yes, you are <laughs> colleagues. Bye, a Nati le vamos a sacar la la otra información. <laughs> nice. Okay, in your work position. Eh, administration. Administrator. Nice. Sí, me administration. Nice, very good. Then we have the Hector Manuel Ramirez. The mission, we are a successful corporate. Yes, this is the same group from ACACU, right? Yes, ACACU. Okay, there, they yeah. high, yes, quality financial service and high competitive staffs commit, committed to providing excellent, excellent service to the members and users based on the social responsibility incorporated principles and values. Very good. Wendy, we are a line of restaurants with high quality in our dishes with focus on profitability, efficiency, and customer service. Our products are designed to satisfy the highest demand of our customers. Tenemos alguien un restaurante. Wendy, tell us. Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh, this is restaurant in Alfresco, in Coy, de Lucas. Costa and walk and the new is Bobalu. Really? This is a, tea? It's uh -huh. a chain of restaurants. Yes. Uh, and your work position? And I'm supervisor accounting. 
accounting supervisor. Yes. Oh, wow. Cualquier coupon en discount, usted no dude en compartirlo en el grupo. Yes, teacher, lo voy a tomar en cuenta. <ríe> y aquí por por a ver. <ríe> Ahí está ya Ricardo Ahí volunteering. Está Ricardo. <ríe> Volunteers para ir a probar cualquiera de estas forms. Cuando <ríe> quieran. Thank you. Wow, so nice. Ya estuvo todos los, los companies. Remember that probably our companies don't have the mission, visions, and values in Spanish. So we have to give an interpretation. So that's okay. But if my case that my company don't have anything else. They don't have a mission, vision, and values. No. <laughs> oh, wow. What type of company is it? Intel Mics. But uh -huh. what do they do? No, I don't know, man. I, I think that it's more about, about of technology, right? That, that you improve the technology or sell us. I don't know. But they provide technology services and sell yeah. technology devices. Yes. Uh huh. So at least you have to have an idea of what the the mission is or what the vision is. The web page is not a web. <laughs> <laughs> but you provide technology solutions, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow is your homework, okay? And what about your other partner? Uh, not continue because for uh, that works a lot of uh time mm -hmm. and waiting when 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 she and he arrives at at her house and his house mm -hmm. uh it is so sort of later. Oh really? Oh, that's a shame. But you still traveling commuting by bicycle you say right yeah but a uh, round of uh 30 minutes right for my from, from the house yeah oh my god and if you take the bus it's two hours yeah for the traffic <laughs> yeah the traffic gets really heavy every day we have worse bigger problems with traffic such a shame well let me give and you ride a bike is free. Huh? and ride a bikes is free yeah it's free and healthy yeah true i used to have a, a partner at work who used to ride a bike all right well let me see let me see let me see let me see well let's move on Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to try to match this concept with this definition, okay? If you want, you can go on your menu and choose the option that it looks like a pencil and it says annotate. So maybe you can choose this option and you can start matching, okay? But if not, you can do it on your own, in your notebook, and then we're going to compare. All right, I'll give you a couple of minutes. I just need to get some water. Give me a second.
Okay, you got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that when well, I think one of uh, you, the values uh -huh. is the um, a blue integrated social justice. Yes, integrated social justice and tolerance represent good qualities. Okay, good. Integrity, social justice, and tolerance represent good quality. Good qualities, right? Let's say like this. Vision, Grace, or Gracia, sorry. Orange. Uh -huh. I think that a company roadmap indicating what the company wants to be to become. Yes. Right. Orange. Uh huh. Statement. What would be the same? Anyone? The green. The green one? I read an idea I can, I can, I can, indicating something to do or to be done. And the last one, the mission of a company. It will be the main goal, Deborah. Mission of company, a uh, main goal to accomplish based on a uh, philosophy and principles. Based on the philosophy and principles, yes, the main goal to accomplish. All right, this was pretty simple, I think. <laughs> Let me just get something right here. Mm hmm definitely. Yay! All right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> nice. Okay. Here we have some examples. Well, an example of a mission. It says, give me a second. Just need to look. Okay. Using the sample conversations, example of businesses, describe your company's vision. Sir, vision and mission, use your microphone to present your ideas to the class. Our vision is a world where every child has the right to, to quality education. Our mission is to inspire sustainable innovations in national education policies using grassroots approaches to, to improve accountability in learners' outcome. This sounds like a, sorry. Yeah, sounds like an educational institution's mission and vision, right? So, based on this, yeah, definitely. We have some other examples mission and vision to create a sustainable and supportive environment which promotes personal growth and inspire the pursuit of excellence throughout swimming sounds like an academy of swimming or, or a sport company to inspire the pursuit of excellence throughout swimming and to be a leading swimming club in australia admired for its people integrity and culture okay definitely very accurate and of course we were also sharing what we think the accurate or the closest translation or interpretation from our company's mission vision and values would be so we already did this okay I guess we have this conversation on the manual so I'm just going to give you like this but later on we're going to practice from the manual. I just wanted you to have this idea. Let me just move my tools because soon kind of covers me with everything. It says, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? 
FID, we should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. <laughs> okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. That's definitely a hotel. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. In our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. A little bit <laughs> late. <laughs> That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Let me just stop sharing this because I think you have this conversation on the menu. Let me just double check. If you have your menu, definitely you can check it out from your menu. And if you don't have it yet, I'm gonna share the screen, no problems, don't worry. Don't worry. All right, one second. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So this is what it looks like on your menu. As I was mentioning, <laughs> the main goal or the main objective is to write an effective business mission and vision statement. It is important. Okay, this is something that the manual is asking you to reflect. Is it important for a staff to know the mission and vision of the company? Why? How does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? So this is something we're going to think about in a little while, in some minutes after we practice. So this is a conversation. Did you, sorry, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most proper beach hotel by families by 2020. In this case, we can say by 2025, probably to set a limit of time. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Because Probably when this was done, it was not 2020 yet. All right, any question? I can give you a couple of minutes for you to start analyzing, start practicing and thinking if you need any help or any support with any word or any phrase or any meaning. Uh-huh. No problems, pronunciation, meaning, everything okay? Yes. Nice. All right. So I'll give you the screenshot for the ones that don't have it yet so that you can practice. Should I place a screenshot here on the chat also or you need it on the WhatsApp? Let me know where it's better for you. I think it is more better on WhatsApp. Really? Yeah. All right, so I'll do it on WhatsApp. It's okay, no problem. Yeah, for the ones that is still a struggle, I can do it there, no problem. Let me see. All right. So get ready to practice. I'm going to make the group slowly. We're gonna have different partners. Let's recreate the groups. So here we go.
¿Quién quiere comenzar? Eh, empiezo. Vale. Okay. Sí, voy yo. Ok. Ok. You heard about the visit of the managers today? I did. We should be ready to ask a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read me. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to take our guests feel at home from check, check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most pre preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision the where our business want to get in the future. Okay. I did. We shall be ready to answer our question about the mission and the mi and the vision of the company. The right help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check check it to check out. Right. Your mission different with our the music sixty. And our vision is to become the most pref preferring beach hotel by family by 2020. All right. Admission to where your business want to head in the future. Eso. Ahora que practiquen nosotros. Okay. Vaya. Vaya, démelo otra vez, eh, compañera Karen, pero al, a lo contrario. Ok. Empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Permítame que no haya. ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Vaya, sería. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel the family B2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business want to get in the future. Okay. Nice. Yes. Vaya, ¿alguna pronunciación que, que quieran saber cómo es? Or West, así sería, de, en serio. Or West. Or West. Ok. O oh, yo comienzo. Ajá, por ahí a practicar lo otro. Vaya, está bien. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I think we should be ready to ask our questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred big hotel my family by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our, our business wants to get in the future. Natalie? Uh, Dai, you heard about the beef on the manager today. Oh. 
Hola, este, como vemos cuatro, ¿sí? este, no sé si lo hacemos en pareja. Vaya. Ah, okay. um, okay. ¿Quién con quién? Eh, podemos empezar. Eh, Héctor, vi el nombre y quién más, perdón. Pero deja de ver. Um, Hola. E iniciamos. Bye. Ok. Uh, voy a hacer Diana en este momento. Bueno. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We, we should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Very team. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes with our business exit. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Let's finish, teacher. All right, thanks. All right, everybody come back. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Okay, Laura. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Apparently no. <laughs> Doris, can you hear me? Yes. All right. So you are going to be Diana and let's see, Deborah, can you hear me? Hello, Deborah. No. Grace? Yes. All right, so you're going to be Celia. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go.
quiz, Diana. Is oh my god, I lost her. Ah, Doris. Okay. Go. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read Tim. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes we are business exits. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel, hotel by families by 2020. That's right, our vision tells where our business want to get in the future all right thank you very much okay let's read them let's read them right and our mission is to make our guests like gato right guests feel at home from check-in to check out and our the our mission describes why why our business exists why our best our business exists and our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020 that's right our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future like g -g -g. all right our where our business wants to get in the future any doubt any difficult word to pronounce no Sure? Are you sure? Okay. Attendance time. Second attendance. See where it is. Anna Cristina Diaz. Present. Brian Ulises. Hi. David Miguel. Present teacher. Deborah Beatriz. Doris Elizabeth. Present. Elvin Gabriel. Present. Gracias Marisol. Present. Hector Manuel. Present teacher. Imelda. Tenía issues todavía con su micrófono. Iván Arnoldo. Joana de la Paz. Present teacher. Jocelyn Karina. Karen Melissa. I'm here. Present. Kevin Edgardo. Laura Berenice. Maria Irma, Miguel Ángel, Nelson Present. Alberto, Pablo Natalia, Present teacher. Nice. Ricardo Present. Mauricio, Present teacher, good night. Good night, Wendy. Present teacher. Wilmer. Bueno, por orden de lista, este día corresponde a Ana Cristina acompañarnos en la sesión de One on One. Christy, are you ready? I am ready. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Imelda, thank you for your presence on the chat. I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, good night teacher. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. everybody. Good night. Rest.
All right, Anna Cristina, tell me. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, tell me about yourself. Todo lo que me pueda contar de usted en English. Okay, my name is Cristina. Mm -hmm. uh, my last name is Diaz Castro. Mm -hmm. I work at AKQDRL. Um, You're from uh, La Unión. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ya de <te> recuerdo. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, I am general accountant. Uh -huh. I live in La Unión y I también trabajo. I work there. I live and work in La Unión. And work in La Unión. Uh -huh. um, I like cook. Cooking? Cooking. Mm -hmm. um, so you have my... children? No. You don't have children? I know. I know. You say, I don't. I don't. I don't have children. Okay. How old are you? I am single. Uh -huh. I uh, I have four brothers. Four brothers. Yes. No sisters. No. Wow. Nothing. Any sister. <laughs> Interesting. No. And you live with your brothers and your parents. Go. You live with your brothers and your parents. Yes. Mm, so you live with your family. Okay, and where did you study at the university? Mm, si estoy estudiando. Si estudió la universidad o todavía? Ya estudié. You finished? Ya finished. Really? Mm. Um, hey. Quizás hace como unos ocho, no, diez años. Ya. And you graduated from what university? Um, La U.S. San Miguel. Really? From Universidad de Salvador in San Miguel. And you travel? Yeah. You travel to the university from La Unión? Yes. Really? Every day. ¿Y cuánto tiempo se hace from La Unión de San Miguel? Mm, como una hora. Really? One hour? Sí. ¿No está lejos entonces? No. It's near. Sí. Mm. Está cerca. By bus. Eh, sí. Because if you come to, for example, if you live in, let's say, Cabañas, and you want to come to San Salvador to university, mm, terrible. Super. Terrible, terrible. Especially because San Salvador is full of traffic. Eso yeah. es lo que lo complica más. Mm -hmm. Sí, estuve viviendo en San Salvador un tiempo y sí, bastante tráfico. Really terrible. So you graduated as a general accountant? Sí. Oh, wow, nice. Congratulations. Thank nice. you. Nice. Ok, so desde que estuvieron en el grupo anterior no han parado, entonces. <laughs> no. Qué nice. Ay, estamos qué, bien, qué bien, bueno, pero usted ya sale, mira, ahorita ya su, su one on one ya terminó y ya estuvo. Los demás que van a quedar hasta las ten, ten. <risa> Exacto. Ventajas de ser la primera en la lista. Sí, así les debo a mi compañero. No, uh -huh. o sea que la, la primera solo saluda. <risa> Solo chambriando. No, ustedes ya les van a preguntar otra cosa. It's true, it's true. Bueno, ¿y con quién les tocó estar en el, en el nivel 2? Mm, no recuerdo ya el nombre del teacher, pero sí era un hombre. Era un hombre. Ah, sí, pero estaba algo. ¿Estaba? 
ya estaba algo joven. Uh Ah, muchacho. -huh. Mm, no recuerdo el nombre de nice. Sí, ¿Alguna, con Alex. ¿Alguna pregunta, Cristi? No, teacher, todo Todo estuvo bien bien. el día de hoy, sí. Hoy sí ya digo. <ríe> <risa> Todavía tenemos un poquito. Sí, ya, ya, ya lo veo más confiado. Sí. Sí. ¿Y qué, qué dijeron cuando vieron mi nombre? De, ah, creo que es la misma teacher. La vida. Y yo solo me acuerdo la de Blanca, pero el apellido, no sé, no seguro. Sí. Pero no creo que haya otra. No, es la misma la de esa chica. A la misma. Sí, de hecho no, no, no me habían asignado hasta el Friday. En serio. Y yo dije, ok, all right. <ríe> Lo bueno pero, es que pero no me acordaba fueron que eran ustedes para nada. Es que la, el último grupo que tuve era intermedios, intermedio cuatro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, entonces sí, ya. no Sí. recordaba los principiantes que son el bus. Nos habíamos desconectado. Pero good, ya nos volvimos a conectar. <ríe> Y así es. Sí. Ok, thank you, Christine. Good night. Good night, teacher. Ok, see you tomorrow.